Okay, so recruiting process. So let me tell you what are the truths and what are the myths. You know, the recruiting process wise for tech industry specifically, it's a lot less traditional. You know, Google, for example, doesn't give a shit about your DPA, excuse my language. Um, it's also fairly case based. It wasn't in a few years ago, but now I think they are realizing the case is a good method to test your intelligence. So you know, stuff like market sizing, market entry, product design, you know, those kind of questions you should expect for a company like Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, etc. Uh, behavioral and Fitbit interviews are also gaining more importance, even if you're joining as a software engineer, uh, but especially if you're joining after an MBA or you know, as a mid-level manager, it's even more important. Uh, and you also need to have some strong demonstrated interest in tech, and I'll discuss later on. I think this is an important point for you guys. I'll talk a bit more about how to show that. What are the myths? You don't need a serious degree at all. You know, I mean, a lot of people in my group, it's a fairly specialized, fairly high-level group, a lot of people have uh, backgrounds in humanities, somebody worked in the political party before, and all stuff like that. It's, you don't really need to have a CS degree. That said, it does help. Um, but you don't, it's not a mandatory thing. Uh, you also would not be asked puzzles, and I can speak for Google, you would not be asked puzzles there, but uh, I think a lot of other companies that used to ask puzzles, like Microsoft, are not doing that anymore. Um, it's a silly thing to do, and people are realizing it's not really that useful or productive. And you'll also probably, I don't think you're going to have stress interviews or panel interviews. You know, these are mostly friendly interviews, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, and, uh, and and that's what you should expect. Uh, next slide, resume. Uh, okay, so what are, your, what are my thoughts on resume? I think the broad principles apply to every sector besides tech. You know, do not lie on your resume. Keep it really clean. Keep it one pager unless you are like 20 years of experience, 15, 20 years, then you can do two pages or you are a PhD who has a lot of publication history, patents, papers, uh, conferences, then it's legitimate to have two pages. Otherwise, you know, if you're an MBA with less than 10 years of experience, keep it to one page. No spelling errors, of course. If you're not a uh, native speaker, get your resume checked up by a native speaker. Uh, native speaker. Um, so um, beyond the broad principles, what is especially for tech? What is special for tech, right? So obviously we rely very heavily on innovation. So if you do have any any original content that you have produced. You know, if you're a writer, if you have produced original writing, uh, especially if it's writing in tech, uh, definitely discuss that. Uh, magazine, web articles, you know, if you are, if you want to apply. Uh, if you have a past background in technology, you have patents or papers, you make sure that you write it out in your, clearly in your resume and highlight that as well. Um, now, point number two, engineering is a very, you know, uh, it's a very collaborative, uh, effort, you know, no one person can achieve a lot in this industry, so teamwork is really important. Um, what that really boils down to is does anybody else in the group would like to work with you? And what we call in consulting and in Google uh, as an airport test, like if you're stuck at an airport with somebody from your team, would that person want to hang out with you or just, you know, keep getting emails and, you know, doing work? And the answer should be they should have fun working, you know, talking to you, and that's an important thing for companies like ours. Uh, also important to have international experience, so you know, either through professionally or extracurriculars or education, all relevant. So you should highlight those. You should also rely, they also rely very heavily on passionate people, a lot of work to do, and if you don't have passion, you'll, you'll just fall behind. So show a pa passion in whatever you have done in the past, you know, either you're a sports team, volunteering, if you have hobbies that you have been pursuing for you know, lots and lots of years, uh, develop some sort of special expertise in that, expertise in that, make sure you highlight that for sure and bring it up in your interviews. Also show not breadth, but also depth of experience, you know, which means long-term commitment is really important. 